Good afternoon, Jason here, Birchfield Family Farm. We are just outside of Oxford, Ohio. Overcast day to day, cattle, sheep move, and we're gonna move some chickens too. Want to uh, show you some new ideas on this uh, automatic chicken system. Before we do that, good word today is from Ecclesiastes 3. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. Okay, let's get these guys moved. You can see what we're going on onto here. Just very, very, very lush grasses here. This has been uh, 44... 44 days since we've been, we've come on to this. So, um, we, uh, <clears throat> dealt with a tough week, uh, week before last. So if you haven't seen the video, that last video, go back and watch it. It'll explain what we've been uh, dealing with, but we had some trouble when we moved on to paddock two here. And so we've taken some, taken some steps to, um, help these guys out and putting out some uh, increased magnesium uh, for this lush lush grass and uh, let's get them moved over come on sheeps come on sheeps some help from the cowbirds there breaking up some pats you can see uh, still got our chickens back there on paddock one while we pressed pause on the uh, cattle and sheep moves so we'll get them moved today as well note too we did not have any trouble with the sheep on this green grass uh, did have the, the cattle issue but the sheep uh, for some reason now obviously they're a ruminant animal as well but we did not have any any trouble with the sheep Okay, so we've got chickens moved over here onto paddock number two. Cattle, uh, obviously we just moved to three. Everybody's munching over there. But I really wanted to highlight this uh, chicken system that we're doing here. I wanted to go back on paddock one and show you. You can see, if you look close, oh no. There's two of them I didn't get. <sighs> Okay, nothing like herding chickens. There we go. We come back here and look at this, and you can see where these paths were. Uh, they're just, they're gone. They have uh, scratched these things and mixed them in. And uh, I, I really like what I'm seeing here on this um, with these manure paths uh, disappearing. So um, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it in paddock two. And um, <clears throat> what I really wanted to show you though is somebody on my last video, I apologize, I can't remember who it was, but they uh, suggested a deer feeder for the feed. And we absolutely took your advice and uh, got this thing, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. And uh, it's just a, a T-post we pound in the ground and then just a little bird feeder that uh, this thing hangs off of, but basically a timer on the bottom. And uh, you just put your feet in the, in the bucket there, collapsible bucket. And uh, that thing has a timer down there and you can set up to four times for that to go off. But I got that going off here in, uh, in just a minute. And I'll show you how that works. It just flings that feet out. And then also um, I was able to, we've only got one water hookup out here 
and I was able to tee off of that. And, uh, you know, I got one, one hose running to the uh, cattle water there, and then the other hose runs over here to our automatic chicken water. And that drains into the red Clawson water there. And so everything shuts off when it's full. And uh, this thing has a float in here, so it'll shut off when that water level gets about halfway. I keep a lid over here to keep the crud out. But uh, that's pretty much it. Eggs go in the uh, rollaway nest box. So this is an every three day, every three day event now uh, on chickens. So both cattle and chickens, we're moving them at the same time. Again, running the birds behind the cattle and the sheep to bust up those pats. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the toughest part is the labor running this fence. But I figure, you know, if it's just once every three days, I think we can do that. We'll see. And uh, again, these, these lines here, uh, these are buried water lines. Uh, you can see my hookups here, the quick connects. Um, and everything is fed. I, that, those lines are only a foot in the ground. This is, we just use this for grazing season. And the lines are fed from elevated tanks in the loft of that barn there. And so uh, we keep the float valves on everything. No hauling water. Probably one of the best things we've done in terms of labor saving. Okay, this thing should be going off here about any minute. Let's see how the how the birds respond here. There it goes. <laughs> here they come. There you have it, fully automatic, three-day pasture chicken system. Okay, seeing some of these pats already dug through here. That's what I like to see. They've hit some of these, obviously not all of them. Some of these are disappearing here. Let's see where they've been in these. Good deal. Good deal. Okay, checking back in here on cattle. About an hour later or so, and this is uh, this is exactly what I want to see. Everybody lying down, ruminating. Nobody stressed. So this is uh, this is good. I did, uh, I did put just a little bit of hay out before I turned them in here just to balance that room and, and uh, yeah, just learning, learning so much as we go through these seasons, but uh, I'm glad to see this. You guys happy? Heck yeah.